Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's no name, back with another Giants update vid. If you guys ever start off your morning with calculus, because it ain't fun. My, uh, my school resumed today, this time it's online, for those of you that don't know with the current pandemic going on. So I had to start off my morning with calculus for like the first time in a week, and a week is a short time, but man, did it feel weird doing it from home. I'm in between classes right now, as funny as that sounds, so I actually have time to record this move that the Giants made last night. Uh, last night, they agreed to contract terms with former Cowboy and Patriot offensive tackle Cameron Fel Fleming, at least according to Mike Garofolo, the deal is going to be one year, four million dollars. So a very cheap deal, a one year deal, I'm not sure if it's a one year prove it deal, or if, you know, Dave Gelman and the coaching staff, they just plan to have him on there for one year as a stopgap. Whatever the case is, Cam Fleming is at this point in the league a veteran, but also somewhat a career backup. At least, you know, according to last year, for example, he played in 14 games for the Cowboys. He only started three. Then again, the Cowboys offensive line is probably the best in the league, so you won't really have anybody else starting ahead of their, you know, ahead of their starters or ahead of the Travis Fred Fredericks and all those people in there in, uh, in Dallas. But before he was at Dallas, he was with New England. He was drafted in New England in 2014. And there where he started, like his first year, he started seven games. I mean, he started two games, played in seven. In 2015, he played in 12 games, started seven. 2016, played in all 16, started five. 2017, played in 12, started six. And for both 2018 and 2019, he played in 14 for the Cowboys and started three each. So yeah, he's been kind of a career backup throughout his uh, 10 years in Dallas and in New England. But this is somebody that's good in run blocking. You know, at least that's where his forte is. He's all right in pass protection, definitely needs to improve there. But as a right tackle, he comes in and I believe, at least I hope that the Giants are gonna use him as a depth piece because we definitely need depth that offensive line. We seem to have at least one injury at the offensive line every year, whatever the case is. Even if he isn't being used as a depth piece, uh, he's coming in and he's probably the best player there to start at right tackle. I know a lot of people like the backup in Nick Gates. Um, I'm personally like I need to see more for him before I'm about to put him out there in a starting role at right tackle. But uh, also the Giants have been in, you know, there's rumors going around, there's reports going around that they're planning to put Nick's, Nick Gates at center, which is very weird. I always thought he could work out, you know, as a guard and a tackle maybe, but never did the, the thought of putting him at center come across my mind. They probably see something that we don't. Whatever the case is, Cam Fleming comes in and he's automatically the starting right tackle just because of his years of experience and because he's frankly better than, you know, all of our other tackles on the team other than Nate Solder. You know what I mean? Like, at worst, we have a true swing tackle guy, somebody that actually knows what he's doing at the position and, you know, not a, not a, not a player that has never practiced at the position before or a player that has at one point in their career, but it was like years and years ago. Nah, Fleming has been a right tackle basically his entire career. Now then, there is a coaching connection. Um, as with almost all of these, if not all of these signings that we did so far. And I like that a little bit. It does show that Gelman is indeed allowing the coaching staff to have control around the players that we bring in, whether it's free agency or the draft. I expect the trend to continue into the draft for you know some more of our college coaches maybe. Whatever the case is, the connection here is through two coaches by Joe Judge through New England where Fleming spent like his first, how many years was it? Let's see, his first four four years that he spent with New England he obviously had a connection with Judge he spent the last two years in Dallas so he has a connection with our offensive coordinator Jason Garrett who was Dallas's head coach and our offensive line coach Mark Colombo who was Dallas's offensive line coach in 2018 I believe or 2019 whatever the case is so there's a coaching connection there and that shows that there's three coaches on our staff right now uh Two of them in like the biggest positions on the coaching staff that being head coach and offensive coordinator that like this dude enough to bring him in at least for you know a position on the team we don't know if it's starting we don't know if it's that but they like it enough to say 
this is somebody we want to bring into the team. This is somebody we think that can help improve the offensive line. Uh, we believe we can use the services, whatever the case. What does that tell me about him off the bat? Without going to look at any tape, without going to look at any articles, just off the bat based on what Joe Judge you know, has expressed throughout his time as the head coach here in the media and whatnot. Tells me this dude is probably a hard worker. Tell me he's probably uh, somebody you expect good things from, you know. He's going to de definitely be somebody to look at on that offensive line to see how he helps perform, see how he helps the line improve as a whole. Do I think that's going to happen? Not necessarily given the fact that, once again, he's a career backup. Now, this just points to me what I've been, you know, kind of the vibe that we've been getting from free agency so far. I fully expect the Giants to go offensive tackle round one in the draft. I really think this guy is just a depth move. I really think he's just, you know, a stopgap. I really expect this and I hope, I hope and I pray that we go with offensive tackle in the first round. Right now, the perfect scenario would be to trade down and still get one of those top four guys. But you... Other than Cameron Thelming, the Giants have not really touched the offensive line. They haven't touched offensive tackle center. They haven't touched any offensive line positions in free agency. And it just paints the picture that we're going to take an Andrew Thomas. We're going to take a Tristan Wirfs, a Jedrick Wills, a Mekhi Becton in the first round. And we need to do it because this offensive line only has about two good players on it in Will Hernandez and Kevin Zeiler. And then again, Will Hernandez that declined last year. A Kevin Zeiler that is getting older but still playing at a top level. And then we have one average dude in Nate Solar that's being paid like he's a top guy. Then again, you know, prayers out to Nate Solar and his family. I believe his uh, wife is going through chemo and she's also, you know, they have a kid and whatnot. So maybe there's personal issues affecting Nate Solar sometimes. Definitely got to remember that players are humans too. But Solar's been on the team for two years now and he's been absolutely less than stellar. Definitely not deserving of the price range that he's being paid. That has to be stated. So it would be a shame if the Giants do not at all address tackle in the first round. As much as, you know, I personally, I do like Isaiah Simmons, but I've said this and I've maintained this since about like January or something like that. Offensive tackle is the way to go. It's the more important position right now. Why don't you protect the future first and then go continue to work on the defense? Most of this offseason has been defense. So I expect, you know, at least a good part of the draft to be on offense. But that's it for now i'm probably gonna throw up some other quotes during the video whatever the case is i gotta get back to class as funny as that sounds let me know what you guys think about cam fleming um oh yeah and i don't really any other signings from here on out same thing as i said last video probably gonna be a bunch of depth pieces contracts like this very similar you know very cheap contracts very short contracts we'll see how it goes put your comments down below i'm out Hi guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.